last week, I found myself on Wikipedia. It happens. There's a lot of links to Wikipedia. And as I was browsing this particular page on Wikipedia, the insidious and highly misleading, you better donate to Wikipedia uh, because if you don't give us $2 today, we're going to die. And the Wikipedia servers are going to go offline. It's all, it comes down to the wire. This lasts the last second for the $2 to keep us online. That those pop-ups started coming up on Wikipedia. And it infuriated me. It really stuck in my craw. <laughs> I've done I've done so many stories and articles around the extremely bizarre finances of the Wikimedia Foundation, about how they funnel money for political causes, about how they have a huge, huge amount of money just sitting in the bank, and how annoying it is when they come to everyone hat in hand saying, please give us $2.75, otherwise we die today. So eventually, after that stuck in my craw for a few days, I woke up yesterday morning and I was like, man, I got to do something. I got to I got to channel my Wikipedia based rage somewhere. So I created it <laughs> like you do a, a Google Chrome plugin. <laughs> Why? Because Chrome's the most popular web browser and I wanted to make it for the most people. I thought about making a plug uh, or a Google Chrome extension. I thought about making the extension for Firefox, uh, but then I remembered no one uses Firefox anymore. So why, why would I do that? So I created this Chrome extension that I called the Wikipedia Donation Destroyer. It's up on GitHub now if you want to want to grab it. It's under the BSD license, so you can just do whatever you want with it. Um, and it does three very simple things. I put it out there. It blocks that Wikipedia donate now or will die in three minutes pop up that comes up every now and then because that's just friggin annoying how amazingly dishonest it is. It displays the true financials of Wikipedia, uh, the real ones, right? The how much revenue they bring in their assets, what their CEOs make, uh, <laughs> and how much it actually costs to run Wikipedia. And not, not just displays the financials, it provides links to their IRS records and their annual financial reports. So you can just go read it yourself if you don't, you don't have to take my word for it. And the third thing it does is it provides a little link that's, that's a see if this page is available on Grokipedia link. So uh, you go, let's say, for example, I'll just show you <laughs> the National uh, Baseball Hall of Fame and Museum page on Wikipedia. If you browse there with this extension, this is what pops up. You know, this little this little uh, little window here pops up at the top. It's small. You can close it. Uh, but it has a little see if this page is available on Grokipedia. Wikipedia link, and if you click it, it takes you to the National Baseball Hall of Fame and Museum on Grokipedia. Now, think what you want about Grokipedia or Wikipedia, whatever. Uh, here's an alternative, and uh, Wikipedia was annoying me, so I'm trying to funnel people away from Wikipedia. Um, so I, I published that on, uh, uh, well, yesterday, yesterday morning or yesterday around midday around this time. And, uh, it has just kind of taken off since then. Uh, people have been, been grabbing it like crazy. Um, uh, I think, uh, the initial announcement of it's been seen about 200,000 times. Um, and, uh, and people are generally enjoying the heck out of it now. And I want to make one thing clear here. There are a million ways to turn off the Wikipedia's annoying, hey, you got to donate or we'll die pop-ups, right? There's a ton of great ways to do that. There's all sorts of ad blockers that do it and tracker blockers that do it. And you can even just do it yourself in a lot of different web browsers with a little tiny bit of know-how. It's not even really that hard. The point of this little little web browser extension was not just to block it, but to call attention to the extraordinarily bizarre financials of the Wikimedia Foundation, because it, people just simply need to know. And, and hold on a second here. here here's I'm going to bring up this this little uh, tweet that someone put out. 
Uh, this guy named Pete R over on X says, after seeing this extension, epic. Seeing that makes me feel dirty for donating to Wikipedia once 10 years ago. Um, to which I responded, mission accomplished. Because that, that's what I'm really going for here. It's not necessarily to affect harm of the Wikimedia Foundation, but to provide the real information. The information that, that the Wikimedia Foundation really is not put in front and center. When they're, when they're asking for those donations, they're not being 100% honest in their, in their portrayal of their financial state. Uh, but if you have the extension enabled, you can go look at it yourself. And you can see that, oh my gosh, their, their hosting costs for hosting Wikipedia is $3.1 million per year. Big website. I'm not going to say if that's a lot or a little. I'm just going to say that that's what they're spending based on their reporting. And their income is over $185 million per year. And in, in the bank, they've got close to $300 million per year. In fact, they have enough money sitting in the bank, if you do the math based on their own reporting, to keep Wikipedia operational with their army of volunteer editors for almost a century. <laughs> <laughs> right? They, when they come to you and they put their hat in their hand and they say, oh my gosh, we're going to die tomorrow. They're, they're, not, they're not really being honest here. They've got a lot of money sitting in the bank and the vast majority of their money, as I've shown repeatedly, like in the Wiki Piggy Bank article and video series I did uh, back in 2023, a lot of it goes towards, well, political causes. Uh, in fact, it seems like more goes towards political causes than goes towards running Wikipedia, no matter how you slice it, which is which is pretty ridiculous. Um, so so after I put this up, some people got really upset. Uh, some people were very, very upset that uh, I would be attacking Wikipedia. How how dare you? How dare you steal our childhood or wh whatever they're, they're ranting about. Um, and uh, and some people started saying, well, this is a poorly written uh, uh, Chrome extension. It uses hard coded values and does not reflect up to date information about Wikipedia's earnings. Uh, in fact, someone put in a uh, uh, an X uh, uh, community note suggestion, uh, which hasn't really been upgraded to a full on community note yet because it's kind of stupid. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, of course, I use hard coded extensions and in fact, uh, hard coded values. Well, let me let me show you something here. So a bunch of people, uh, a bunch of kind of Wikipedia evangelists and, and defenders started attacking this extension, which is a cheap and quick extension. Literally, look at the code. It's garbage. <laughs> it's so, so simple. It doesn't, I mean, it's not garbage. It just doesn't do a whole lot, right? I mean, it, it blocks a couple of divs and displays a little box with some hard-coded values. That's and, and I guess it does a tiny bit of logic for the, the Grokipedia link, but not a lot. I mean, it's just a little bit of string parsing. It's not fancy. Um, and so, uh, but a bunch of people were attacking it like, oh my gosh, this doesn't even do any API lookups to get up-to-date information. Oh, it's garbage. And I, I kind of I kind of feel like those sorts of statements represent part of what is fundamentally wrong with engineering nowadays, where people just kind of over engineer things. This is a very simple little extension. If I added in an API call to a server backend to to maintain the information there for Wikipedia financials. Well, all that's going to do is A, provide more opportunities for things to break, B, provide more uh, things that need to be constantly updated and, and protected against, you know, security threats and like, and C, it's just going to slow your web browsing down. Whereas if I just have this little itty bitty tiny 1K whatever uh, hard coded HTML and JavaScript values uh, right here that just doesn't do much of anything, it doesn't query a server, it just displays some data it loads quickly. In fact, because it disables the, the, the divs within the web page for Wikipedia that, that bring up the, uh, uh, the you better donate or we'll die pop-ups, Wikipedia actually just feels a little bit snappier with the, this turned on. Um, I, you know, it doesn't, doesn't really change a whole lot, doesn't add a whole lot to the download, doesn't delay things because of dynamically loaded stuff and querying API. No, 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 no. It's just some simple HTML and JavaScript, man. This, don't make this complicated. 
don't over engineer things <laughs> like go keep it simple and you know what when wikipedia finally gets around to releasing their next round of financials or 2025 numbers which this they have not done yet um i i can update it <laughs> right i can update it here or i can update it in an api being hitting a database or whatever well, i'll just update this here i'll just update the plugin and put it in there it's fine it's it's really not a big deal um but i think it's funny that that there's wikipedia defenders that are out there they're like oh this plugin is or this extension is evil I'm like oh okay all right <laughs> okay buddy um oh oh yeah so when i created this i don't use github very often right um I just I, I just don't use it a whole lot. I mean, I've had a GitHub account for, I, I don't know, years and years and years and years. And I've got a couple repositories on there, but I hadn't created a new repository on GitHub. And shoot, I don't know how long. And so I created this new repository for the Wikipedia Donation Destroyer. And when it did that, it automatically created uh, a new... <laughs> <laughs> it automatically created a, uh, a a new branch, and instead of creating it as a master branch, it created it as a main branch because that's the the like the default for for GitHub nowadays, right? So um, so I didn't realize that at first, and uh, uh, someone pointed out they're like, um, <clears throat> "Hey, Lunduk, uh, it says main branch up there," uh, <clears throat> and I was like, "Oh, shoot, <laughs> let me go change that real fast," and uh, uh, so I went in and, and changed it to master. So it's a master branch now as it's supposed to be luckily we caught it within you know hours of of the, the repository being online uh but i'm not i'm not about to keep a repository up there that says main branch if i notice it's main branch i'm changing it over to master because the main branch uh that terminology is just retarded and lame and i i, I don't like it and uh master we use the master branch here um and then i i started uh toying around with with some other things here I realized, you know, if we're displaying financials for for Wikipedia and Wikimedia, why not display financials for other tech foundations as well? So I added in um, a thing of if you go to a Mozilla website, it displays the Mozilla financials, how much their CEO makes and their total assets as of what we know, uh, as of the latest reporting. And and again, links to the IRS and, and annual reports so you can go read it all yourself. All in a super, super tiny, slightly transparent, uh, closable little little thing at the top of the web page, right? And I thought, you know what? I don't know if people will find this annoying. I don't know if people will find it interesting because it, the, the information needs to get out there. Um, but, you know, I, I'm like, hey, it, it's an optional extension. They can, they, they're only going to install it if they want to. And if it draws attention to the issues that are happening here, you know, maybe, uh, maybe it's worthwhile. And so I started thinking about it. I'm going to start toying with the idea of adding financial details for more tech foundations, not just Mozilla and, and Wikipedia. And so I started playing around with it. And uh, and I asked people, you know, hey, do you do you want to see um, other <laughs> other other tech foundations kind of a uh, kind of financial details exposed? And uh, so far on 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 X, uh, I just asked this in the middle of the night. Ninety two point eight percent of people said uh, yes, expose them all. So I've. I've added in the code. I haven't done a new release for it yet, but I added in the code for uh, Linux Foundation financials, and uh, I'm pulling in uh, details for some of the uh, the other ones as well. We'll get a whole bunch of them out there, and uh, that way, if you go to various tech foundations, it'll just boop, pop up at the top. Hey, here's here's how much money they uh, they earned last year, and here much how much money they've got in the bank, and here's how much their executive is earning. That way, you know, before you start donating to them or before you start thinking, oh, OK, you know, when they start talking about what they're doing and what they're spending money on, you know, what what is, what is was really, really actually happening here? Like with the Linux Foundation, right? As of 2025, they have uh, almost a third of a billion dollars in revenue with uh, 224 million in assets. Their CEO makes almost a million dollars a year and their annual spend on Linux kernel specifically is 8.4 million. And it's just interesting information to know. You may like that. You may hate that. You may disagree with that, whatever. But it's interesting information to have out there. Um, now, of course, almost immediately after I published <laughs> this, <laughs> this, this little plugin, uh, the, uh, the trolling pull request started flowing in, right? Um, so, uh, so here's one. 
Here's one where someone submitted a, a change uh, that adds theming support. <laughs> of course they did. Trans and LGBT theming support to the Wikipedia Donation Destroyer Chrome extension. Um, because uh, why not? Um, so you could hit a button and it cycles through, uh, you know, trans flags and all sorts of other stuff. And needless to say, I, I'm not, I'm not merging that into the code base here. Um, uh, there's also someone that came in and, uh, and made a, a code change where it adds on Wikipedia pages at the very bottom of this a little dialogue that pops up, if it detects that it's on a page for a piece of software that has a, a Rust-based rewrite, right? So like sudo has the sudo rewritten in Rust and GNU core utilities have the GNU core utilities rewritten in Rust. And if you go to those pages, it's, it pops up a warning. It adds a little warning to my little financial display that says, oh, this, this piece of software is written in an unsafe language and you should click here for the, uh, for the secure uh, memory safe Rust based version of it. And these people are just, you know, trolling me at this point. <laughs> And, you know, they, they only added in a couple of things here, like FFmpeg and GNU core utilities and whatnot. But uh, needless to say, I'm not, I'm not merging any of those because uh, no, because <laughs> I don't have to, because <laughs> I can do what I want. Uh, anyway, uh, this was kind of fun. It was a it was a random Sunday morning thing to do, uh, and if it gets a little bit of extra attention put onto the issues with Wikipedia and the Wikimedia Foundation's financials, more is more is the better. Uh, so you can go check it out if you want. Uh, the 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 extension doesn't do a whole lot. There's no uh, there's no user tracking. There's no data collection. Uh, there's no hitting of any servers. Like, there's no API calls going anywhere. Uh, there's no local storage. It doesn't touch your cookies at all. Like it just it's it's about as just dog simple as you can get. It was a you know it's a it's a quick and dirty uh, pointing at Wikipedia sort of uh, sort of extension and you know what I'm gonna do another release of it probably later this week where I add in a bunch of other tech foundations where it shows the fi the financial status for all of them as well because come on let's let's get the actual numbers out there right let's put it out there and let's have those conversations um, anyway um, you can get it up on github I'll provide a link wherever you're getting this show so you can go to the the github page for it if you want to tinker with it change it uh, fork it use it whatever you want no <laughs> it's not it's not in the Google Chrome extension store. Because that, that's a whole lot of work. I think there's even cost associated with that. I, it's just up on GitHub. So you can install it on your on your uh, web browser if you want to. It's it, 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 no no skin off my back either way. Uh, thank you to the Lundu Journal subscribers for allowing me to do this sort of ridiculous stuff from time to time to bring some attention to these various tech foundations and the absolutely corrupt nature of so many of them. Uh, go to lunduke.com. Lots of places where you can grab a free subscription to the Lunduke Journal. I mean, just a ton of places where you can get all the reporting and all the stories from the Lunduke Journal for free with no restrictions of any on of any of them. It's just just go and, and, and have at it. But if you want to support the work that the Lunduke Journal does, if you scroll down on Lunduke.com, you'll find a little section where you can provide get the links for how to subscribe monthly, yearly, or lifetime via local Substack X YouTube, Patreon, or or even Bitcoin. And lifetime subscribers get a get a bunch of extra perks in addition to the MP4 downloads and the PDF ebooks and the forum access and all those sorts of things. But they also get added to the lifetime subscriber wall of shame, of which there are now one, two, three walls. The third wall, we made the text a bit smaller because <laughs> the, the, the other two filled up a little bit quickly. So we're making the text on the third wall a bit smaller. So hopefully... <laughs> Hopefully we can fit more names on there. Um, but uh, thank you to all of the lifetime subscribers and all the monthly and yearly subscribers. Well, for real, I, we, we couldn't do this without you. Uh, the Lunduke Journal 
is uh, one of the only outlets that does uh, the tech reporting of a lot of these tech foundations, uh, period. Uh, none of the other tech journalists out there will cover the vast majority of the stories that the Lunduke Journal can cover because we're supported, because the Lunduke Journal is supported by by all of you. So uh, thank you for making it possible. The, the world thanks you for, for allowing these stories to be told. Uh, couldn't do it without you. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, nerds and nerdettes across the inner tubes, I do declare and broadcast.